Hi Carpentry Addict, welcome again to your favorite woodworking and DIY channel. I am Domingo Freire and today I will show you how to make a table using an old iron base and a wooden pallet. First of all, I will disassemble the wooden pallet using my oscillating multi-tool. And after this, I will assemble the project using my cordless screwdriver. You can find and buy these tools in the link I give you in the description of the video. When we are going to disassemble a wooden pallet, we are going to find this kind of nails. We must use a cutting blade that allows us to cut the pieces of wood and the metal nails. Attaching the cutting blade to the work pro oscillating multi-tool is very easy. We just have to move this lever back, place the blade, making sure that it is well attached with these teeth that you see here. And by closing the lever, we are ready to work. Don't forget to wear a mask or glasses to protect your eyes. To make these cuts I will use the tool at maximum speed. The oscillating tool allows us to easily insert the cutting blade between the two pieces of wood that we want to separate. Here you can see that the nails we cut are completely flush with the surface of the wood. That's what I love using this tool to separate the pieces from the wooden pallet without damaging them. Once the wooden surface that I will use for the tables has been separated, I'm going to proceed to sand it. I recommend you start sanding with a number 60 or 80 sandpaper to remove splinters and sharp edges from the wood. To remove roughness from the wood, we start with a quartz sandpaper and then we can use a number 180 sandpaper to give a better finish to the surface. We can use our tool at maximum speed again. I found an old iron base that I'm going to use for this table. I have to sand the entire base with 120 sandpaper and then apply several coats of spray paint. When the paint on the iron base is dry, we can attach it to the wooden surface using screws. Remember that the screws cannot be longer than the thickness of the wood so that they do not go through it. To give a final protection to the entire wooden surface, you can use transparent lacquer in spray. 
Apply three coats of clear lacquer allowing it to dry before applying each coat. Once the paint and clear lacquer are dry, we have an excellent table to use at home, in our garden, and even as a work table in our workshop. Thank you a lot for watching this video, remember to click on like, share, and comment this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video.